Hi, my name is Larry Jordan, and welcome to this Power Up webinar entitled Making Multi-Clip Magic in Final Cut Pro. Multi-clips are the ability to combine multiple cameras together to, to make it easier to edit, as opposed to taking one shot at a time, you can look at the entire group. But there's a lot more here than meets the eye, and that's the whole purpose of this webinar. So let's get ourselves started. Before you even start editing multi-clips, you need to do some planning. In fact, as Hamish Hamilton, the director of Dun & Dusted, said, the edit process starts in pre-production, and that is never more true than when you're working with multi-camera video editing. Organization is the key to creativity, says Mark Rodanos, who's the VP of post-production for Boone & Murray Productions. This webinar focuses on creating multi-clips for editing inside Final Cut Pro. But if you're going to be doing a lot of multi-camera work, a really great resource that I was very impressed with is a new book out by Mitch Jacobson entitled Mastering Multi-Camera Techniques. It walks through the whole process of planning, production, and editing. Now, I've done multi-camera work for most of my television career. A live remote uh, with multiple cameras is, is what I really live for. And I wasn't expecting to be particularly impressed with the book, but I spent this last weekend reading it and was blown away by how good it is. Everything from director's notes and producer's notes to planning to pre-production to production, all the different technology involved. Mitch did a really good job in putting this together, and I recommend it to you. A multi-clip, which first appeared in Final Cut Pro 5, allows us to combine, view, and edit multiple clips contained inside a single group clip at the same time. Now a group clip is actually an avid term. What a multi-clip is, is a collection of clips all in a single clip. A clip of clips, if you will. <laughs> in general, you use multi-clips when you have two or more cameras shooting the same event at the same time. The classic example is performance, such as music or dance or theater. But soap operas and situation comedies are also shot with multiple cameras, as are reality shows. In general, multi-clips are not used when you have multiple takes of the same scene shot with a single camera. It's really when you've got multiple cameras covering the same event that multi-clips can become their most useful. Just to give you a sense of the specs of multi-clips inside Final Cut, we can synchronize up to 128 different angles, 128 different clips, and we can view up to 16 of these angles at one time. All video clips must use the same codec, the same frame rate, and the same image size. This is a huge point. We'll be coming back to it several times throughout today's presentation. A multi-clip can contain audio, video, or stills. And in fact, a multi-clip is a nice way of laying down an audio track and doing a stills montage on top of it. It's not what it was designed for, but it works great at doing that. You can add, modify, or remove angles once the multi-clip is built. And you can sync based on common time code, a common in or a common out shared among all the clips. In general, multi-camera shoots require much more planning than single camera shoots. So we're going to look at the planning process purely from the point of view of editing, not production. However, that planning process starts in pre-production. And then it continues in pre-editing and continues through the editing process. Once we get our planning done, which is going to take about 20 to 25 minutes to present, I'll show you how to create and modify a multi-clip. I'm going to give you a cookbook that you can use to create your own multi-clips. How to edit multi-clips in the viewer or using keyboard shortcuts. I'll show you how to find angles inside a multi-clip, how to add effects, and how to finish editing a multi-clip. So we're going to spend about half our presentation time planning and half our presentation time actually using the software. The key concept in pre-production is to decide what you want and then plan for it. When it comes to editing, there's four things we need to think about. We need to think about video formats, we need to think about folder and file naming, we need to think about sync, and we need to think about timecode. 